Hello, I'm Frances from Winstep Homestead, and we're doing hoop houses today. So I got one of the hoop houses made for a grow bed. It turned out really good. I was very pleased with how it turned out. And I have the materials to do another one, and so I'm going to get that made for this one. We're still getting frost at night, and so I don't want uh, to have seedlings uh, getting damaged at night from the frost. I already have seedlings coming up under this hoop house, and so I want to hurry up and get one over here before the seedlings come up and I need to take the cardboard off, and then I have freezing <laughs> temperatures at night. So we're gonna get that put together today, and I'll show you how it goes. So what we've done here on the corners is toenail on either side. We're now placing half inch caps, six of them, on the frame for the three hoops. We've drilled holes inside so that we can screw them down and then that way it'll hold the hoops when we bow them across the frame. All right, we now have the six half inch end caps placed on the framework. Now we need to bow the half inch PVC, which is five feet We have two three-fourths to one-half tees that we put on the end hoops to hold a crossbar. So these tees are three-fourths inch here so that they can slide easily. They can easily slide over this half inch and that way this half inch here can hold into the crossbar nice and snug. And then we'll screw these onto the hoop once we get the crossbar in place. These are clamps that I got off of Amazon to go on half inch PVC to hold the plastic in place.
All right, look at this. We have both of the hoop houses finished. And I'm so excited to have them up so that I could get these seeds direct planted and get growing already this season. Now this pattern for these hoop houses was created by James from the Gardening Channel. And he's the one that designed, that I copied the design from. And I modified it to fit my particular size of grow beds. But he did a beautiful job and you definitely want to check him out. I'll try my best to <laughs> figure out how to link that so that if you want to make something like this, they really are a good design. I've really been pleased with how they're working out. And it's so nice to be able to prop them open in the warmer hours of the day. And then I can put it down at night when it gets real cold to protect the plants. And it's worked out really well. It's helped the seeds to germinate pretty quickly. I still don't have <laughs> carrots or beets coming up, but the rutabagas and the radishes are doing beautifully. And fortunately, the cilantro survived as well. So I'm very pleased with that. I also have some garlic in this bed that I hadn't talked about. I planted these in this past winter and it's coming in beautifully now. I also transplanted my multiplying onions. I had just a few little clusters left over last fall and over the winter they've been frozen in the ground up by the chicken coop. When the ground finally was defrosted so I could dig out the green onions, I wanted to remove them so that they wouldn't be frozen for so much of the winter so that I could still have access to them. So I've transplanted them over here. And even though I only had a few clusters left, I was able to divide it up and I now have 36 new green onions. They're multiplying onions, so there's still more than one in several of these mounds. So I'm really excited to have my onions and my garlic going. And in this bed, I also got my Brussels sprouts and cabbage transplanted out from the grow room. They're a little close together because <laughs> I ended up with two seeds in some of the cups and I couldn't bring myself to discarding them. So I went ahead and pushed them all in and I might have to thin it out if, as they get bigger, if it gets too crowded. But for right now, I'm going to go ahead and leave them. But I'm pretty excited because I've got four grow beds filled now. The arugula came in right away. And they've been up for a good week now. This is the kale. The kale's coming in beautifully. And I've got just a few little spinach that are starting to poke out now. And I have a few lettuce that are coming in. I don't know if you can see them, but there are a few little green, few little green seedlings starting to poke out. Just a few of them. But for this first day of April, I am very excited to have four grow beds and an onion patch already planted and looking beautifully. My hope is to keep them alive and be able to harvest. And I have high hopes in doing that. I'm so grateful for you joining me on this journey. Please like and subscribe. Until we meet again.